What is going on everybody? Brian Mann here, hands-on auto training. Guys, I got a quick tip for you today. This has to do with prairieing Fords. In particular, what I feel to be late model Ford uh, ABS control modules. This is the first time I run across it, but if you're a mobile technician, this may save you a lot of time, possibly in a field. Uh, in today's instance, we're dealing specifically with a Ford Transit Connect, a 2019. I was called out to program this ABS control module on this thing. Arriving on site, you can see we ID'd the vehicle. We do have a code in the ABS control module. Looking a little bit further, we do have a code for the hydraulic pressure unit, uh, P0942. If you're not familiar with FDRS, you can go ahead and click on that and it'll tell you more uh, information about it. It's got a calibration parameter, memory fail. Taking a little bit look further, you can see the other collateral damage uh, from this code down here. You got the other modules, power steering control module, steering column control module, and whatnot set in this code. Well, I gotta tell you on this thing, we went ahead and did the standard PMI, no big deal. Um, I think there was a couple other calibrations. Not so concerned about the details here, except for this detail here. When we go to do the hydraulic uh, pressure calibration, it does tell you, you gotta have your battery support on there. In this uh, screenshot, I didn't. I was actually, I had to start the vehicle to get this thing above 10 degrees. Now, 10 degrees what? 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius? It doesn't tell us. I don't know if changing the settings in Ford FDRS as far as the SAE or the metric would fix this or not, I don't know. Um, but I hit the continue button. I was like, well, it's about 50 degrees in this shop. No big deal. Well, 50 degrees, guys, is <laughs> 10 degrees Celsius. So I didn't know that but we go ahead and hit the button to continue it says it's in progress this took maybe 15 20 seconds and we get the procedure is unsuccessful ecu temperature is low now if you're working out in the uh, northern states or wherever it gets really cold this could be a big problem because the abs module doesn't heat up very fast i found that out my abs control module was at like nine degrees celsius and I ended up shutting the hood, starting this thing, let it run for quite a while. And it took a while before this thing was warmed up. Even when the ABS internal temperature said that it was at, uh, as you see here, even when it was at 11 degrees Celsius, it says exterior ABS temperature, I don't see a data PID for the interior ABS temperature. So what you gotta do is make sure that this thing gets all the way warmed up. And once it is all the way warmed up, you will be able to, uh, uh, proceed. It had to be, I think I was at 13 degrees Celsius on that exterior ABS temperature sensor before it would start. The door, shop doors were open, these people didn't want to turn their heater on, and uh, this could be a problem. So in the future, I have to make sure when I'm thinking about these newer ABS control modules, this vehicle has to be warmed up or in the shop overnight at least, and maybe even have the shop started up with the hood shut just to build some heat underneath the hood of this thing. So I hope this helps save you some time. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Of course, check out Hands-On Auto Training, the membership site and whatnot. We'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.